Hey YouTube, this is Max. For this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your Wii Remote controller on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So, this was on iOS 7, iOS 8, and iOS 9. So, here's what you will need for this tutorial. A Wii Remote controller. You will also need a jailbroken iOS device, a gamer, iOS 7, iOS 8, and iOS 9. So, we want to do after you have to open your device, go to city and you want to search for a package called Controllers for All. Okay, so for the, the one that has a draw, you're going to have to purchase it. If you do not want to purchase that, just go to sources and add this repo. Just add this repo. Repo. Dot bought your apple. Repo. Dot bought your apple. Dot net. Dot, dot net and hit add doors over verify URL and hit anyway once it's done to tap return to Cydia. I've already had the source but I'm not gonna re add it. Then you wanna go to the search search for controllers for all. You see three. You see one that has a drill and two that has a question mark. So I got I got 1.7, you can also get the 1.7.3. After that's installed, you want to restart your springboard. After it's installed, it will be a preface pane. You want to go to settings, go to controllers for all, you want manual, hit connect, hit pair. You want to press the red sync button. Okay, so now we're connected. If you want to see, if you want to see which games are compatible, there's a game called Gaggle Trips, and you can search and download every game that's compatible with the controller. So these are my games: Basketball, Angry Birds, Dreaming Adventures, Asphalt. Age. Minecraft. You can also use the emulators. Like here, my emulators. I got Presence, EPS, SPP, GBA for iOS, INES, and DC for iOS. And you want to test your controller? There's an app in the app store called Game Controller Tester. Just open that. Once you found your game controller, you want to press every button and see if it works. If you see a mini game pop up, just hit the X. You want to press every button on it and see if it works. So I guess everything works. After you had tested your controller and everything that worked, you may launch a game or a meter. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna try out Asphalt 8. As soon as you load the game, the Wii Remote controller jumps right into action, and it should load. Okay, so with Asphalt 8, you can control it. Back, you press A to select, you press B. Okay, I'll go and play.
and you're going to hear the clicking noise. The clicking noise is my controller. So the left stick, the D pad, the B button works, and the A button, and the plus, and then that's all they to go to the menu. You press the star, and when you press home, it's going to tell you of if if you want to disconnect controller, press home and hit this. So I guess that works. Now let's try Raymond Adventures. Raymond Adventures it shows you the controls. Well, it may work for some games, but it may not work for a lot. But if your game is compatible, it will work. So go ahead, play. Now to start, you press the Y button, and to dash, you press and hold left and R, and the menu is plus. Menu is working. Controls, the stick, and the D pad is working. Holding the B button works. Okay, so it works. Now let's try Angry Birds. Again, as soon you load the game, the game jumps into action. Okay, so in this game only, so to, and Angry Birds go to go to the menu, press the A, you just press the A button. And to activate your power, you just press B. And, and to control the, and to move while driving the car, you, you, you can use the control pad or the D button. So this okay. So let's try basketball. Which let's try stickman basketball. Okay, so the control stick works, which is the left stick. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos.